Hi, uh, today we're going to talk about bailing out of a glider. I've got a few short video clips for you to watch. The need to bail out is quite rare, but it can happen. The basic competencies that you need um, from a, a, an, a threat and error management point of view are anticipation, recognition, and having a recovery plan. If you think about bailing out now, you'll be far better equipped to deal with a real event and you'll be much less likely to fumble or panic. In everyday flying, you should make a habit of getting out of the glider with your parachute on and remove it once you're outside of the glider. If you get in the habit of taking the parachute off before you get out, this can become an instinctive habit. And can you imagine what it would feel like if you took your parachute off and jumped out at 2,000 feet because you just had a bad habit? The sequence of events is open and discard the canopy, release the harness, exit the glider, and pull the ripcord. This next video clip shows the steps of getting out of a glider. Here, pilots are practicing before a competition. Hands on yes. stick, flying, 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 crash. Yes. Then you need to simulate to pull yes. the handle and push push the, the canopy away. Yes. And then Okay. Uh, uh, I'm flying. <laughs> he, he will, you will yeah, manage. I will, I will do what I did for every pilot in Duvaldi. Okay, so you're ready. Eyes, eyes down the road, flying, 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 crash. <laughs> so you need to be able to instinctively follow the following steps. Open the canopy, know how to jettison your canopy, check it, find out and then know how to do it. Once the canopy is ejected, you can release your harness, then get out of the aircraft to exit the aircraft and pull the release. No need to delay before pulling the release, just pull the release. The next clip will show us how the parachute actually works. Do you want to pull this one? Show us what um, it looks okay, like. Yeah, so when you pull the uh, ripcord, the pilot chute will jump out and it acts like a sky anchor. As you're falling away from it, then the container will open and it will slow down whatever it's holding on to and that will pull the canopy out of the container if it has a deployment device and this one does have a deployment device uh, where the lines are contained around the bottom of the canopy waiting until the lines are pulled out straight before the canopy mouth is allowed to open uh, and that's a good thing it means that the canopy can't have one part of it blow up and away and another piece of the material catch air inside out and partially invert or totally invert. Once all of the lines are under even tension, the deployment device is released and allows the canopy to spread out. Air comes up, the centre of the canopy creates a bulge at the top of it and the airflow over that bulge sucks the canopy open from the top rather than blows the canopy open from the bottom. All right. So here's the container open. The pilot chute is pulling out the canopy by the apex and I'll just hook it over my handy packing bit here and walk the container away. And the deployment device on the national parachute is what we call a full diaper. So all of the lines are stowed on the diaper and as you fall away it's not until all of the lines are stowed and under tension that the canopy is allowed to open out. So there's the last little bit of it open and then from that time on the canopy can take air and any possibility of the lines becoming entangled with each other as might happen if the canopy took air in this way so that these lines were tight 
but these lines were loose in the air and could fly around and tangle with each other, that can't occur. The deployment device keeps that all straight and it makes the opening more comfortable for the wearer too. But the safety features are the main part of that. So from that part on, air travels up the centre of the canopy as it's packed, inflates it by creating a bulge in the top that sucks it open from the top and then it's open. So here are the steering and drive panels. They have mesh across it. The middle one just pushes you forward. These two, one on each side, also push you forward, but if you pull down on the back riser, it will distort this into a parallelogram so that the one on the side you're pulling is smaller than the other one. That will turn you in that direction. You've got a big hole on this side and only a little hole this side, so you'll turn towards the direction of the little hole. The parachute obviously will work best if it's being cared for, so properly packed um, and properly maintained. You should also be prepared for things not going quite as well as you might expect. And on this next clip, we'll look at what happens if you uh, let go of the handle on the ripcord. So um, the other thing I wanted to mention was if you've jumped out and you've pulled out the ripcord, but you've lost it and it's flying around in the wind, don't bother chasing it. The cable here means putting your hand around that and running it down the cable, you'll get to the handle. You don't need to hold the handle to pull it, just pulling from there will deploy the parachute. Yeah. So, in summary, familiarise yourself with the canopy jettison system. And why not practice a touch drill for bailout? And that means sit in the glider and imagine you're bailing out, touch each of the canopy controls as you go through the process in your mind. This will help prepare you for the real event. And finally, always get out of the aircraft with your parachute on. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.